Good day, Dominicanus! Today, another history slowly unfolds as we come to an end of the school year 2020 to 2021. Truly, this event signifies the culmination of many years of hard work and relentless pursuits of knowledge. Knowledge that will enable the person to embrace opportunities and take on challenges with clear vision and purpose. Now, to formally begin our program, let us give thanks to our Almighty God and offer this momentous occasion. Let us all stand for the doxology to be followed by the singing of the national anthem, Awit ng Kapas and the DCTP.
be seated. Aristotle once said the roots of education are bitter but the fruit is sweet. That is why today calls for a great celebration of the fruit of your success. Having gone through so many bumps and hurdles this school year because of the pandemic and the sudden shift to online distance learning was never easy. But I may say that everyone did a great job. Congratulations! Also, let us recognize those people who were instrumental of your success that we should be thankful for because they put you up and supported you throughout this time. To the proud parents and guardians and of course teachers, congratulations! At this moment, let us hear some words of welcome from one of our bright students, Christiana Marielle C. Aguilar of St. Catherine. Let us give her a round of applause. To our Executive Vice President, Sister Marisor J. Fabros, OP. To our Principal, Mrs. Crisel de Virahel, our dear teachers, families, and friends, and to my co-completers, a pleasant afternoon. Today is the time everyone has been waiting for. Finally, we did it! We finished our junior high school years. Our hard work has been paid off, so let us give ourselves a pat on the back. I know this year is a tough one for all of us. We are currently experiencing a pandemic which made a big impact in our lives. As students, our patience and understanding were put to the test. Our determination and passion for learning were pushed to its limits. We had to adjust from face-to-face -to, -face to online schooling. However, despite the difficult times we had, here we are today, about to open a new chapter of our lives and a door to more opportunities. I want to quote a verse from the Bible in James chapter 1, verse 12 that says, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love Him. We are indeed blessed because despite the hardship and stress we experienced this school year, we have our parents who never cease to support us, teachers who are patient with us and guided us, and our alma mater who made sure we received quality education despite the current situation we are in. And above all, we have our Abba Father and Lord Jesus, who truly loved us unconditionally. My co-completers, let us take this perfect opportunity to acknowledge and show our gratitude to the people 
who manifested great love and unwavering support to each and every one of us. We overcame this year's trials and really pushed ourselves to the limit. So let us stand with confidence and with our heads up high as we enter a new stage of our lives. We may not have been given the chance to meet each other face to face, but I strongly believe that we are connected in heart and in spirit. This year, we were probably limited, but we were never defeated because we pushed through, we endured, we persevered together, and now we are here to acknowledge our victory. Again, to my fellow completers and to our respective families, congratulations and welcome to the virtual Moving Up ceremony. Thank you, Ina. To set a heartwarming atmosphere, may I call on our very own Executive Vice President Sister Marisol J. Fabris to inspire us with her nuggets of wisdom and wise words. Dearest learners, beloved parents, guardians, resilient academic leaders, great teachers and staff, a blessed day. Crossing the bridge to the next grade level is a time for reflection and celebration. When learners know and can name the skills they've mastered and the character traits they've acquired along the learning journey, they level up to the next grade, ready for a new challenge. This moving up ceremony also spotlights character as an essential marker. Character includes the academic mindsets that students bring to learning such as truthfulness, compassion, perseverance, competence, and the way learners treat and work with others such as respect, tolerance, and collaboration. And most importantly, Moving Up Celebration shines a spotlight on learners' important role as Dominican leaders upholding the theological virtues, faith, hope, and love, and be an agent of evangelization as the great contribution in the community of servant leaders. And to all our achievers, you are gifted for something and that this thing must be attained by perseverance and hard work. Always remember, God has a plan for you. Pursue it with the sincerest effort you can master. Have faith in God, hope for the future, and love for all the people that supported and inspired you to attain success in your education. Congratulations and wish you more of these joyous moments based in the sweet glory of reaping the fruits of hard work. Thank you, sister, for that gratifying message. Let us hear another stirring message from our very dedicated K-10 principal, Mrs. Criselda V. Rahel. Mabuhay, Dominicanos! To the administration, faculty and staff, parents and guardians, guests, and to the main characters of the day's spectacle, our learners, good day to all. I am genuinely honored to be delivering this speech to all of you today. After 10 grueling months of almost doing everything virtually, we now bid goodbye to the most challenging school year by far. Truly, this school year is very challenging. It has tested our faith, our patience, and most importantly, our strength as we declare war against COVID-19. It brought so many trials and challenges, sometimes weakening us and pushing us to the limits. But aren't we the nation? who endured and braved chaos, tragedies, crisis, and still be able to stand up the next day? It is from this that we've grown to be as a resilient nation. 
because we need to and must become one. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought an unprecedented crisis to the educational landscape of the world. Remote learning emerged and became the immediate solution for learning to continue. Education practitioners try to ensure that digital divide is minimized and goals in imparting quality education is not compromised. Suddenly, it's a new world. It's the new normal. Students switch to virtual spaces. Teachers design lessons fit for Zoom and Google Classrooms. Suddenly, it was a 360 degree turn for all. But despite all of this, we did it. We thrived and here we are, one year after, we are coming through. Indeed, what George Gerard said is true. The elevator to success is out of order. So, you'll have to use the stairs. Just take one step at a time. And that is what we did. Well, this speech is actually dedicated not only to our learners, but also to the people who have been instruments to this achievement. My special thanks to the parents and guardians who have put up with their children at home. You have also become their teachers, even their guidance counselor, their nurse, and sometimes even assuming my role as principal. Kidding aside, you have shared a big part in their accomplishment. I must say that you were our exceptional education partners. Also, I would like to acknowledge the incomparable support and exertion of our dear teachers, who, in spite of not having enough time to adjust with a sudden shift to the learning modalities because of the new normal setup, they still strived and put their best foot forward to cater the learning needs of the learners. You all deserve the best claps and a good tap on your shoulders. To our dear learners, you are just about to complete this level and unlock the new one. May you take with you the experiences that you had this year. May they be good or bad, use them to your advantage. Bring with you the core values of a true Dominicano. This will be your invaluable possessions. You have just earned your passport. Use it wisely, my dear, as you journey to success. Make us proud. Again, congratulations to all of you. Truly, there's no elevator to success, and using the stairs one step at a time to reach your endpoint is more rewarding. Thank you, ma'am. Indeed. We may live in an age of instant messaging, instant gratification, and internet. But there is no way to short-circuit the path to success. There are so many checkpoints to pass through. But today, we culminate all the efforts done by our dear students by giving them their hard-earned accolades. And now, the main highlight of today's affair is about to unfold in our midst. Without further ado, let us have the advisors of each section for their short messages dedicated to their advisory classes to be followed right away by the presentation of awardees and junior high school completers. My sincerest congratulations to all of you. You are now about to take another flight to success. May you bring with you the teachings and trainings that you had for years here in this city. This school year may have been a roller coaster ride, but I hope that you have also enjoyed the twists and turns. Truly, it has been a very challenging year, but despite the hassle, all is worth the tassel. Great job, St. Dominic. I am so proud of you. Kudos also to the parents and guardians who have been there through the years. Again, congratulations and good luck on your next journey. And now, may I present to you 
the junior high school completers of grade 10 St. Dominic for the school year 2020-2021. Let's start with Aquino Adrian B. Balbin John Benedict S. Athlete of the Year, Billiards, Bronze Medalist. Bote Francis Archie B. Kahugiran Raymond Peter D. Academic Excellence Awardee with Honors. Kau Neo D. Kasupanan Kurt Alex L. Claridad Charles Dominic D. First Placer Basketball. Datu Josiah Eric P. Academic Excellence Awardee with Honors. The Aquino Mark Albert S. Academic Excellence Awardee with High Honors. Outstanding Campus Journalist, Gold Medalist. Digital Poster Making, First Place, UP Pataasan Diwa. UP Pataasan Lahi Participant Diaz Sir Angelo B Academic Excellence Awardee with Highest Honors Outstanding Campus Journalist Gold Medalist SSG Officer Gold Medalist AP Club Officer Bronze Medalist First Placer Pagsulat ng Sanaysay Ebdani Jeffrey P. Elias Roland Nico P. First Placer Basketball Jimena John Renz Academic Excellence Awardee with Honors Athlete of the Year, Billiards, Bronze Medalist. First Placer, Basketball. Guevara, Melvin John Ray A. Athlete of the Year, Billiards, Bronze Medalist. Second Placer, Billiards. Lumibaw, Tom Pacey C. Mangera, Stephen Tracy D. Athlete of the Year, Basketball, Bronze Medalist. Musni, Rafael Jing. Athlete of the Year, Basketball, Bronze Medalist. Sanchez, Castin Stephen P. Third Placer, Badminton. Tixe Miko S. Victoria John Matthew D. Academic Excellence Awardee with Honors. Outstanding Campus Journalist, Bronze Medalist. Knights of the Altar, Gold Medalist. DVC, Bronze Medalist. Arboleda Agata Celine M. Academic Excellence Awardee with Honors. Second Placer, Badminton. First Placer, TikTok. First Placer, Paggawa ng Vlog. Balbido Shane Stephanie E. Academic Excellence Awardee with Honors. Balmores Jana Clarissa R. Academic Excellence Awardee with Honors. Bautista Eloisa Colin D. 
Academic Excellence Awardee with Honors, Athlete of the Year, Volleyball, Bronze Medalist, Biadnes Christine Anti, Academic Excellence Awardee with Honors, DVC Bronze Medalist, Biag Micah Jewel L. Bundalian Alessandra Y. Quaresma Kimberly Justin Y. Academic Excellence Awardee with Honors. Flores Ayen Nicole C. Galapon Roma Angelica D. Academic Excellence Awardee with honors. Catechist, bronze medalist. DBC, bronze medalist. Magdangal Mikaela C. Academic Excellence Awardee with honors. Maliari Marian Aiki D. Academic Excellence Awardee with high honors. Drum and Bell Gold Medalist Filipino Club Bronze Medalist First Placer Table Tennis Machas Francine Ann S. Academic Excellence Awardee with Honors Narciso Alexandra Nicole C. Academic Excellence Awardee with highest honors, SSG Officer, Gold Medalist, Athlete of the Year, Volleyball, Bronze Medalist, Dance Troupe, Bronze Medalist, Filipino Club, Bronze Medalist, First Placer, Billiards, First Placer, TikTok, Ortega, Ann Margaret C. Pineda Jaisel Diane V. Academic Excellence Awardee with Honors. Rovilius Yesha Leniel C. Academic Excellence Awardee with Honors. Tolentino Kate N. Academic Excellence Awardee with Honors. Drum and Bell Gold Medalist. And last but definitely not the least, Velasquez Chelsea P. Academic Excellence Awardee with Honors. Again, St. Dominic Class, congratulations. May I now call on the advisor of St. Catherine class, Mrs. Mary Ann B. De Leon. To be celebrating amidst the pandemic is quite ironic. But I believe that there are enough reasons to do so. We have to celebrate for the gift of life. And we appreciate it more, especially during these seemingly tedious times. We have to celebrate for the opportunity to continue on with our search for knowledge and wisdom. Despite the uncertainties of situations, the unfamiliarity of the modular learning, synchronous and asynchronous modes of online classes, the burden of laborious and tiring tasks, we persevered and came out victorious. We have to celebrate because you have achieved something within a situation which is least considering ideal. You are completing a very important stage of your student life as you are now moving up from junior high school to senior high school. Amidst all the uncertainties we began this school year with, Amidst all the difficulties encountered in the conduct 
of online classes throughout the school year amidst all the technical problems we have faced within the use of technology we have amidst the risks and danger of this pandemic we are still alive healthy more knowledgeable and much wiser than before there is so much that we have to celebrate for as you now have completed your grade 10 and about to move up i want to thank you for bearing with us with me and for persevering in order to succeed congratulations and persevere more in your quest for greater success it is my great honor and pride to present to you this year's saint catherine class batch 2020 2021 to begin with we have Aquino Charles Darrell P. Kapugan Rolf Renzo R. With honors. Kunanan Mark Gregory G. With honors. Dimalanta Jose Brian M. Laksamana Tristan Y. Third placer virtual basketball. Lugto Baron Rain P. Malig Harsel John C. Malyari Anthony P. Manalese Justin Carl P. First placer virtual chess. Matias Lander L. Medina Gabriel C. With honors. Third placer virtual basketball. Nalus Jan Louis C. Nick Dow Joshua F. Polycarpio Andre Jean I. Reyes John Kenneth S. With honors. Third placer virtual basketball. Rivera Kurt Allen M. Talavera Lance Emmanuel M. With highest honors. Outstanding Campus Journalist Gold Medalist Virtual Historical Quiz B Champion Grade 10 Representative and Guest Speaker for League of Catechists and Religious Educators of the Philippines Aguilar Christiana Mariel C with highest honors ssg officer gold medalist drum and bell gold medalist second placer essay essay writing in the filipino up pataasan diwa participant debate team kaintik giselle nicole m Kanasa Maribel L. With honors. Carino Princess Isabel J. Kunanan Micah C. With honors. Del Rosario Juliana Casi Y. De La Cruz Krishna Lay with honors this on joanna rain with honors this on joy Ann s with honors esteban annabelle v 
with honors. Magpayo Erica Bella C. with honors. Magpayo Janeline A. with honors. Manguera Laika L. with high honors. Maninang Rosemary. Perez Leon Nathalie D. Athlete of the Year, Billiards Bronze Medalist. Third Placer, Virtual Billiards. Ramos Aryan Princess A. With High Honors. Saldi Melanie T. With honors. Salonga Bea Crisanti. With honors. Sanglai Herzila J. Tanweco Alessandra Catherine M. Third placer virtual poster making. Tongol Gracial P. With high honors, drum and bell. Tumang Lovell Mian S. With high honors. Once again, congratulations, my dear Saint Catherine. At this point, I will now call the presenter of Saint Joseph Plus, Mrs. Lucita de la Cruz. Moving up is one grand achievement in your junior high school year. The past four years have gone so quickly, and now it is time to bid farewell as you are set to step higher to achieve your dreams. This school year has been extra challenging. Our world has suddenly turned into something we did not expect. The pandemic that hit us turned us into more responsible, more cautious, more patient individuals. It challenged our system of education, our patience in learning, our values in keeping up with our classes. Even our mental health was put to test. But despite the roller coaster ride, brought about by the virus, you have shown that you are bigger than the virus, able and capable of learning by attending classes online. Despite the lagging internet connection, submitted paperwork on time, even with the simultaneous works given by your subject teachers, and most of all, you were able to show your persistence in learning in the new normal way. With this, I am proud as your advisor that the virus did not stop you from achieving your goal and your parents' dream for you. And to your parents, thank you for their untiring support and for giving you the best education you deserve. So high and congratulations, my dear St. Joseph class, Batch 2020-2021. With pride and great joy in the new normal way of moving up ceremony, may I now present to you the completers from the St. Joseph class. From the young gentleman, we have Aldana Chester Sam C. Ami Lance Kirby M. With honors. Kanasa Arvin S. First placer in table tennis. Cruz Justin Aaron P. De Leon Nico Emmanuel S. 
Second placer in badminton. Wet Sir Reniel Way M. Luxon Christian Curvy G. With honors and second placer in chess. Lapus Justin Miko C. Leasing Albert Dale C. Maninang Glenmark J. Masokol Brent Yancy M. Mayuyo Leonard James M. With honors. Pineda Justin Darrell V. Pineda Kimar A. With high honors. Gold medalist in Outstanding Campus Journalist. Kines Jan Benedict D. Raon Andre Seiji G. With honors and UP Pataasang Diwa participant in Dagliang Talumpati. Rivera Rain C. Athletes of the Year. Basketball Bronze Medalist. Sambile RJL. Valentin Maximo III C. With honors, second place in gospel sharing and UP Pataasang Diwa participant in debate. And from the young ladies, we have Alfonso Faith Micaela S. With honors. Alfonso Crescia F. Austria Maria Theresa E. With honors. Knights of the Altar Gold Medalist. Borja Alexandra C. With honors. Bukiran Adrian Denise C. With high honors, Outstanding Campus Journalist Gold Medalist, Liturgical Committee Gold Medalist, English Club Bronze Medalist, DVC Bronze Medalist, and Pagsulat ng Sanaysay First Placer. Kabansag Reina Lian Komedia Reina Lin C with honors Kura Kate Reya M with honors and second placer in table tennis De La Cruz Mia Kaila with honors Facun Kate Keza V Feliciano Jalverly C Drum and Bell Gold Medalist Ferrer Irish Kayela T Harana Christine Elaine W. With honors. Lambino Micaela S. With honors. Lucas Juliana Feli L. Mangera Christine Ann M. With honors. And first placer in chess. Milan Zyrel Luis R. With honors. And slogan first placer. 
Olika Gian Irish M. With high honors, Outstanding Campus Journalist Gold Medalist, Catechist Bronze Medalist, DVC Silver Medalist, Filipino Club Bronze Medalist, and Pagsulat ng Sanaysay Second Place. And another award is the UP Pataasang Diwa Participant in Pagsulat ng Sanaysay. Pineda Micaela P. With Honors. Sarmiento Lou Ashley M. With Honors. And to complete the list of St. Joseph class, we have Simbulan J. Ann Nicole A. Once again, congratulations to all St. Joseph completers. We may live in an age of instant messaging, instant gratification, and Instagram, but there is no way to short-circuit path to success. So my grade 10 completers, congratulations. And as you embark on a new chapter of your life, always remember that learning does not stop inside the classroom. You will be student as long as you will have something to learn about. And this will mean all your life. Every experience in life will teach you something. You just need to keep an open mind and open heart to see what lessons the world has to offer. My dear Tomasians, congratulations. It is my pride and honor to present to you grade 10 completers from St. Thomas Aquinas class. To begin with, Kajigiran Francis Kyle O, Academic Awardee with Honors. Karion Cody Andre S, Second Place Table Tennis. Kayabiag JC Lee B, First Place Badminton. Desus Wesley D. Doton Mike Justin T. Malonso Victor Gavin T. Machas Tristan Carl P. Academic Awardee with High Honors. Outstanding Campus Journalist Gold Medalist. Knights of the Altar Gold Medalist. Athletes of the Year Valuable. Bronze Medalist, Catechist, Bronze Medalist, DVC, Silver Medalist, and third place, Poster Making. Mendoza Aaron Angelo M. Miranda Mark Justin S. Morales Ashley Macray L. With high honors. Padilla Braille Vincent P. Pangilinan Mark Hanson S. First place Billiards. Pineda Lucky B. With honors. Ramos Jonald L. Athletes of the Year, Bronze Medalist. Salvador Jan Dave T. With High Honors. Santos Carl Obrin V. Vasco Daryl Stephen M. With High Honors. Outstanding Campus Journalist, Gold Medalist. Let's move on with the ladies. Cortez Cheska Nicole C. With honors. Kunanan Anika G. 
with high honors. Duai Edelweiss Queenie A with honors. DVC Bronze Medalist. Galima Monique M with honors. DVC Bronze Medalist. Gamboa Angel Ann A with honors. DVC Bronze Medalist. Guerrero Angel Maffey with honors. Guevara Patricia Marie G with honors. Limos Lara Jerly L with honors. Mendoza Lovely Joy D. Miranda Frances Julia A with honors. Dance Troop Bronze Medalist. Palele Christian May L with honors. Panlaki Nikki Andrea M with honors. Perez Christine with high honors. Rivera Kimberly S with honors. Rone Rea Jean O with honors. Sampang Jan Marie C with honors. First place badminton. So Ann Tracy May I. Tanglao Gail B with high honors. Outstanding campus journalist, gold medalist. SSG officer, gold medalist. Dram and Bell, gold medalist. Liturgical committee, gold medalist. Bronze medalist for Filipino club. And UP Pataasang Diwa participant debate team. Tiglao Sophia Faith. Tuazon Raisa Mandi Z. With honors. First place, Gaspel Sharing. Vasco Catherine Nicole B. With high honors. Outstanding campus journalist, gold medalist. Third place, Bible Quiz B. Second place, Chess. And last but not the least, Visdan Elaine M. Athletes of the Year, Basketball, Bronze Medalist. Again, congratulations, St. Thomas Aquinas Class. May I now call Mrs. Angelin F. Peñaflor, Advisor of St. Lorenzo Ruiz. My warmest congratulations, Batch 2021. This academic year is indeed a remarkable pace in your life. Everyone's life actually turned upside down because of the uncertainties and challenges brought about by the pandemic. Who would have thought that classes will take place through online from start to finish? And even this special occasion is done virtually. Nevertheless, your determination, patience, and hard work amidst these trying times are really commendable. Though we were not given the opportune time to meet face to face, however, my love and prayers are always with you, mga anak. I hope that the learnings you gained through your online classes will keep you true in life. Best of luck to each and every one of you. Again, congratulations. At this juncture, I am pleased to present to you the completers from St. Lorenzo Ruiz class, starting off with the young gentleman. Alimurong Carl Andre D., Academic Awardee with Honors. Amante Lawrence M., Apillanes Lance Cedric C., with Honors. Cardona Ethan Aaron D. David Atrin Joshua N. 
academic awardee with high honors, outstanding campus journalist, gold medalist, Knights of the Altar, gold medalist, mini orchestra, gold medalist, Hernandez Renz Gabriel M. Ignes Ponsky Ivan L. Malyari Stephen Aaron P. Malonzo Kyle Joshua S. Academic Awardee with Honors. Mendoza Kian. Kiambao Igi Robert R. Academic Awardee with Honors. Rosales Mark Lawrence P. Santos Jade G. Sigwa Jade Marion G. Academic Awardee with Honors. Tantoko Mark Joseph I. Williams Red, Bronze Medalist in Volleyball Athlete of the Year. Bronze Medalist, Science Club. Third Placer, Virtual Intrams, Chess. Yabut Rain Charles M, Academic Awardee with Honors. Yamane Ryoski M. Athlete of the Year, Bronze Medalist in Badminton. Yamson Ruby Kyle Roldan I. Athlete of the Year, Bronze Medalist in Basketball. Virtual in Trumps, First Placer in Basketball. And from the Young Ladies, we have Adorna Princess Mai T. Academic Awardee with Honors Bronze Medalist, Catechist D Dominican Vocation Club, Silver Medalist Aquino Mary Rose J Academic Awardee with Honors Batak Sophia Nicolette R Academic Awardee with Honors Cornell Michaela Ashley G. Academic Awardee with Honors. David Mia Germain A. Academic Awardee with Honors. SSG Officer Gold Medalist. Drum and Bell Gold Medalist. Dominican Vocation Club Bronze Medalist. Domingo Juniela Christine D. Academic Awardee with Honors. Third Placer Virtual in Trumps in Volleyball. Pabian Nisha Kate B. Malyari Janelle C. Academic Awardee with Honors. Manyebog Maika Karil. Academic Awardee with High Honors Drum and Bell Gold Medalist Bronze Medalist in Basketball Athlete of the Year Manukum Rochelle May E Academic Awardee with High Honors Gold Medalist Liturgical Committee Bronze Medalist as Athlete of the Year in Badminton. First Placer in Badminton for Virtual Intrams. Palma Jesusa Abigail A. Ocampo Jen Abigail. Bronze Medalist, Catechist. Passion Mariel L. Academic Awardee with Honors. Serrano Cassandra Julia L. Academic Awardee with High Honors. Sibal Siljan Marie M. Academic Awardee with Honors. Torres Lorena Ann T. Academic Awardee with High Honors. Outstanding Campus Journalist, 
gold medalist, drum and bell, bronze medalist, liturgical committee, gold medalist, science club, bronze medalist, Valerio Erin Carmeli P, academic awardee with honors, Villa Precious May B, academic awardee with honors, Yambao Alexandra Maris N, academic awardee with honors, outstanding campus journalist, gold medalist, English club, bronze medalist, and last but definitely not the least is Yumul Ashley Nicole S, academic awardee with honors. Congratulations once again, my dear students. May I now call on the advisor of St. Mary Magdalene class, Mr. Richie T. Manalo. One virtual academic year has come to an end. Now, it's time to celebrate the fruits you harvested from this first ever online class. Congratulations for a job well done. As you continue through life, Never forget to keep on learning. To keep on believing on the things that you can possibly do. Sure, there are obstacles to be overcome, and there are periods that you want to quit. But these moments are bound to pass. Try to strive for greatness, and believe that greatness, no matter how brief, stays with you. Again, thank you and congrats. God bless you all. It is with great pride and honor to present to you the junior high school completers from the St. Mary Magdalene class. To begin with the young gentleman, Agustin John Lloyd C., Athlete of the Year, Basketball, Bronze Medalist, Andrada John Dominic C., B.A. Enrico Emanuel with honors, between Joshua P., Bundalian Ronnie R. Buscaino Red Mori D. Kaisip Sean Allen P. With honors. Drum and Bell Bronze Medalist. Knights of the Altar Gold Medalist. Descanso Sakari Q. Domingo Kyle Sachel G. With honors. Flores Carl Ivan G with honors Galura Reniel John G with honors Garcia Luigi M Javier Vince Wendell G Athlete of the Year Volleyball Bronze Medalist Mohas Dave Louis M with honors Pagio Don Daniel M with high honors Outstanding Campus Journalist Bronze Medalist, Drum and Bell, Gold Medalist, Knights of the Altar, Gold Medalist, Online Bible Quiz B, Third Placer, Sanchez Karsten Anthony M, Santos Adrian Lawrence B, with honors, Knights of the Altar, Gold Medalist, Santos Michael Giro S, with honors, Samira Reynold Joseph M. Valencia Jasper P. with honors. Next, with the young ladies. Abelda Akima Ace C. Athlete of the Year. Basketball Bronze Medalist. Alsadon Rhea Daniel D. with honors. Drum and Bell Gold Medalist. Carrion Kyla Maris A. Galesho Rhea May G with high honors. Garcia Christine Joy S. Obes Juliana Ashley D with honors. Lacandola Chloe S with high honors. Outstanding Campus Journalist Gold Medalist. SSG Officer Gold Medalist. Liturgical Committee Gold Medalist. DVC, Bronze Medalist, 
Virtual Entrance Volleyball, second placer. Online Historical Quiz B, second placer. Laksamana Danica Kate M, with honors. Laksamana Leilani C, with honors. Manuga May Fei Yu, with honors. Drum and Bell Gold Medalist. Misolas Alexandra Marie D, with honors. Pangilinan Kathleen Joy C, with honors. Athlete of the Year, Badminton, Bronze Medalist. Ramos Natasha Jane C, with honors. Rivera Abemail Alicia M, with honors. Virtual Intrams Billiards, second placer. Sanchez Marjorie Joy, with high honors. Santos Alisa Camille D, with honors. Talavera Angelica Rain S, with honors. And last but definitely not the least, Yoshi Aya Cristel D, with high honors. Outstanding Campus Journalist, Bronze Medalist. Again, congratulations to my dear St. Mary Magdalene class of 2021 and to all the junior high school completers. Again, congratulations awardees and proud parents. At this moment, we now move to the next part of the program. Jan F. Kennedy said, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. Today, two quick-witted students would express their gratitude in behalf of their fellow students. Let us hear it first from Alexandra Nicole C. Narcisa of St. Dominic to be followed by Lance Emmanuel M. Talavera of St. Catherine. In behalf of all my fellow completers, I would like to thank all the people who made this academic year successful. To our school administrator, Sister Marisol J. Fabris O.P., Mrs. Cruzelda Virahel, K-10 Principal, faculty and staff, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon. I want to extend our sincerest gratitude to the administration for the godly oversight you bring to the school, for making the tough calls when needed, and for making sure that we receive quality education despite the pandemic. To the faculty who give your all each and every day, laboring to provide us with a tremendous education and pushing us to do our best even in the days that we don't want to learn. Thank you is not enough. We are grateful beyond words. Salute to the DCT personnel who keep the school and everyone safe. And to the parents and guardians who never stop on supporting us and have always been proud of our achievements, big or small. Our appreciation is beyond words. We love and thank you so much. Let me tell you a quick story about how I got here. I may not look like it, but I'm a lazy student. I often procrastinate and end up with loads of schoolworks. Just this last quarter, I felt so drained and tired. I just wanted to lay in bed all day even though I have tons of work to finish. Then, a close friend told me that someone is bashing my section, specifically me, saying that I get high grades without even exerting effort. I really got flustered and disappointed because my sleepless nights, countless breakdowns, and hard work were not recognized and were invalidated. I just laughed at it, though it hurts inside. Uh, that person's words kept me motivated to do better at my studies and to prove him or her wrong. Because of that person, 
I got to finish all the workloads I had. So, thank you. I am not saying that you should wait for someone to hate you before you start doing what is expected of you and be motivated. The lesson here is that whenever someone hates you and tries to bring you down, just consider that as a wake-up call to strive and be motivated to prove him otherwise. Do not cry in the corner and suck up for all the hurtful words people say about you. Instead, stand with head up high, fix everything in order, work harder, and be motivated to achieve your goal. Hence, you are not doing that to get everyone's praise and approval. Keep in mind that your utmost goal is to do great things for the glory of God and for the betterment of everyone you dearly love. Congratulations to all of us and have a good day. Thank you. To the school administrator, Sister Marisol Fabros OP, Mrs. Crisel Davira Hell, K-10 Principal, Faculty and Staff, Beloved Parents, Fellow Graduates, Guests, and everyone who are one in spirit on this joyous event. It is with great pleasure to welcome and greet you all a wonderful afternoon. Today is indeed a very special day for us students and likewise to everyone present in this virtual moving up ceremony. We have all the reasons to celebrate and rejoice for we stand victoriously the four years in junior high school. And if you think about it, it's only a matter of time before we face greater challenges in the near future. And I know for certain that we'll overcome that too. The year 2020 really tested our capabilities and pushed us to our limits. However, there are hundreds of reasons not to give up because I firmly believe that we can always find a way to get through all the obstacles and challenges that life throws at us. We give full credits of our success to the people who molded and helped us become who we are right now. To our teachers, parents, benefactors, and friends whose unwavering love and support are really commendable and appreciated. A simple thank you is not enough because without you, we couldn't be able to get through tough times. I, for one, have been in this institution for 13 years and I cannot thank the Dominican College of Tarlac enough for everything I have gained in my long years of stay here. This prestige institution gave me valuable education, worthy lessons, happy and memorable experiences, and most importantly, a second home and family. This school has stood by our side through our committed teachers. They equip us the needed learnings we will need to carry on with our lives. And surely, it is in our hands now on how we maximize the imparted knowledge and wisdom we gain from them. Up until now, I am still mesmerized on how they managed to do everything that they have done. And for that, we will forever be grateful to this institution and to all our teachers. We have a lot of reasons to be happy about and grateful for. Top on that list is our respective families. Because through all the ups and downs and through thick and thin, our families serve as our strength amidst the different adversities we face each day. So to my mom and dad, and to all the parents out there joining us on this virtual ceremony, thank you so much. 
and to my fellow completers, the friendships we develop throughout the years is truly an amazing thing that I will cherish for the rest of my life. I hope that the love and friendship we found in each other will prosper and continue beyond our high school journey and even through our future endeavors. After this joyous event, the striking question is, what's next? A lingering question that strikes fear and doubt into our hearts that makes us indecisive. No one can be blamed for the fear of the unpredictable future, but it's either dwell on that fear and drown, or overcome it and make the best out of everything we do. Choose to live without regrets. So before this event ends and this day pass, let us celebrate our accomplishments and indulge in happiness, for we truly deserve it. But always maintain an open eye in looking for a brighter future and not dwell on the unchangeable past. And remember, keep the memories alive, but leave the undesirable behind. And keep moving and achieving our dreams and never fear the unknown. Congratulations to each and every one of us and may our future be as bright as the stars above. Thank you for your appreciation, Lance and Alex and all the junior high school completers. At this juncture, let us listen to the completers' final song.
to reach the top and soar higher. Once again, congratulations, completers! Tomorrow, new challenges and opportunities await to our students that will further test their courage as improving individuals. As they continue with their journey, may they look back to the stage in their life with fondness and pride. Before we end our program, the school would also like to celebrate today the loyalty and dedication of its faculty members who have been serving the institution and its stakeholders for years. Indeed, these educators are our modern-day heroes. To give the award, may I call on Sir Daryl A. Malonzo, the Director of HRMDO. Good day, ladies, gentlemen, fellow administrators, colleagues, parents, and our dearest graduates. I am Daryl D. Malonzo, the Director for Human Resource Management and Development Office of the Dominican College of Perla. I am honored to present to you this year's service awardees. We are to recognize the dedication, passion, and loyalty of these employees who have been at the forefront of the development of DCT as an institution and its stakeholders. They molded what these graduates have become and continuously serving as inspirations to one and all. These awards are based from their employment date with DCT until December of this year. This year's awardees for five years are Maria Elena Alibanya, Faithful Ann Arugay, Julina Calusa, Daryl Malonzo, Raul Ferrer, John Joseph Talavera, Reynan Mercado Cruz, May Ann De La Cruz, Giselle Angela Perez, Jeffrey Santos, Melanie Sibal, Manny Hippolito, Jo Marie Lopez, Ronald Yusi. For 10 years, we have Charlie Tuliao, Cloyd Diaz, Francis Perez, John Hans Wett, Randy Figueroa. For 15 long years, Daisy Barayoga, Lilibeth Angeles. For 20 years of service, Renel Samson, Nancy Caponcuerza, Violeta Javier, Annaline Peñaflor, Annaline Pineda. The next batch merits our highest service commendations for reaching three decades of continued stellar service to DCT. They have spent more than half of their lifetime rearing young minds and giving glory to the Dominican community. For 30 years of service, Mary Ann De Leon, Lucita De La Cruz, Jinky Tanglao. And that concludes this year's awardees. Have a safe and a happy graduation to all our graduates. Congratulations, teachers! May you continue what you have started and bloom from where you are planted. Now, to give us a closing remark, may I call on one of the intelligent students of St. Dominic, Sire Angelo B. Diaz. As we go forth and celebrate our moving up ceremony, my fellow competitors, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate and thank all our teachers, staff, and administration of the Dominican College of Tarlac for helping us in the best possible way that they can to arrive at this momentous event. Before we carry on to the next chapter of our lives, I just wanted to say that all those sleepless nights, poor internet connectivity, all sorts of trials and misfortunes, efforts, and stress had been paid up. This pandemic troubled us a lot, yet we were able to win the fight 
and not proven that we're stronger than any mishap. There will come a time where we apply all the knowledge, wisdom, and experiences we've gained through the years of our stay in our beloved alma mater. As we go through the next phase of our lives, may we embody the school's ideals and visions to hold the future with gratitude. Adversities are just part of the ladder to success. Let us not see tomorrow as the night, what as today could be the highlight of our lives. This is also the opportune time in acknowledging and giving gratitude to those who have helped us reach this milestone in our lives. This academic year taught us many lessons in life. In behalf of my batchmates, I would like to thank everyone who organized this virtual program. This endeavor is a great success because of your endless efforts. I once again sincerely congratulate each and every one of us. I am proud to say that we made this part through the constant love and support of our loved ones and the untiring guidance of our mentors. We are and we should always be proud to Mininicanos. Congratulations, competitors, and have a good day. Thank you, sire. The conclusion has finally arrived. In behalf of the school's administrative staff and faculty, we joyfully congratulate the completers, their parents, and advisors. We sincerely thank all those who helped and supported us and all our guests who virtually attended this momentous event. Our heartfelt thanks also to the faculty members, especially to the working committee for making this virtual ceremony a fit. Just like what our principal said, you have just earned your passport. Use it wisely as you journey to success. Make us proud. Again, congratulations. This is not yet a goodbye, just see you around. This has been your host, Sir Marvin and Mom G. Oh, oh.